to ask the Scottish Government how it will ensure that EU citizens living in Scotland can maintain democratic participation. Minister. EU citizens will retain their right to vote and stand in Scottish Parliament and local government elections after Brexit. We have previously set out our intent to protect EU citizens' voting and candidacy rights in Scottish Parliament and local government elections. The programme for government includes a commitment to bring forward an electoral franchise bill which will extend the franchise to include citizens of all nationalities legally resident in Scotland. Rona Mackay. I thank the Minister for that answer. Several EU citizens in my constituency have been in touch with my office concerned about the UK Government's EU settlement scheme. Does the Minister agree with me that the system is currently not fit for purpose apart from the gross unfairness of it, as the UK Government's own settled status scheme app is only available to Android phone users and not to those using other mobile devices? Minister. Thank Rona Mackay for that supplementary. As laid out in our programme for government, for this year, we have uh, stated already committed to bring forward a franchise bill. We have opposed the settled status fee charge and we have set up our advice service working with Citizens and Advice Scotland in order to ad advise the EU citizens in our communities who make such a huge contribution in order to help them through the settled status scheme. We are doing that going over and above anything that the UK government are doing because, as was highlighted in Rona Mackay's question, there are serious misgivings around both the technical and practical delivery of the UK government's mechanisms for uh, help, uh, bringing EU citizens through the settled status scheme, but also uh, how much their uh, efforts are, are, are going in terms of reaching out into communities uh, and, and assisting those who uh, have accessibility issues or, or, or uh, are not comfortable uh, using uh, digital uh, technology. Therefore, our advice service will provide face-to-face uh, -face advice, telephone advice and online advice, and we hope it will make an important difference. 